Welcome back. We want to now get to a huge development in the recovery effort around that bridge collapse mm -hmm. in Baltimore. So much of the wreckage is still there, which has caused problems you can imagine for the yeah. recovery crews. So today they used a massive explosion to break apart what remained of a 600 ton steel beam that was resting on top of that container ship. Ryan Nobles shows us how it worked. Signs of progress in Baltimore. Oh my God. A controlled demolition of a massive span of steel, still stubbornly on top of the container ship dolly. The operation prepped beforehand with precision cuts in the steel to allow the heavy metal to fall off the ship and be removed much easier, opening the door for the vessel to finally be removed from the middle of the Patapsco River. This was a very big milestone for our progression forward. It was a tremendous span that was sitting on top of the vessel, pinning it in place. The 21 member crew of the ship still on board since the crash were moved to a secure location below deck as the explosives went off. The ship has been in a vital shipping channel for close to two months after it slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, toppling the almost 50 year old structure and taking with it a major traffic artery for the metropolitan Baltimore region and shutting down one of the busiest ports in America. Six construction workers died as a result of the accident. Last body recovered just this week. Dude, this is, dude, this is bad. The aftermath of the collapse caught on newly released body cam footage from police officers responding to the scene. Those first responders struggling to comprehend the scale of the incident. Something's missing here in the skyline. The whole center span is gone completely. It's in the water. The National Transportation Safety Board and the FBI are both conducting investigations into the accident. Baltimore and Maryland leaders have promised a full rebuild of the bridge, a complex and expensive project that could take up to four years and cost more than $1.5 billion. But while that remains the long-term goal, in the short term, the priority is to get the port reopened process that will get much easier once that massive ship is out of the way.